And a lot of people don't like crows, but every time a hawk or an eagle lands in one of these trees, crows just mob it and run it off, which keeps them from messing with my baby goats. So I don't mind them at all. Some lights going in here. He's gonna act like he's not glad to see me, but we know better than that. Always glad to see me. Hey, don't. What you doing? Well, you made a mess of your stall. And the mini babies. There's Mr. Skippy. Tech's a little bit older. His top molars are not great, so I soak his food. Makes it a lot easier for him to swallow, chew, and digest. The other way, he was losing weight, but since I've started soaking it, it seems to be helping. Yeah, dude. have to be fed in a very specific order or they'll start fighting. Selena, I drop first, then Skippy. Christy will go stand over there and wait. And then Patty will stand here and wait for me to put hers down. But if you put them down in any other order, there's chaos. Ready, big guy? Back up. Back up. Back up. Nugget is pushy. You cannot let a horse take the bucket from you. I'm coming, brother, but yours has just now finished sucking. I'm coming, I'm coming. Now for the goats. Maybe I can record this with just one hand. Maybe not. We're gonna find out in just a second. That's what I'm talking about right there. Bald eagle flying right over the top of the goat enclosure. That was a little bit hectic. Three of the baby goats ran out right in front of the eagle. So I was trying to get them back in while the adult goats were trying to knock me down and take the food. sparring goes on at the food trough. Hey, welcome back to Chmuckle Farm. That's the morning routine, minus the bald eagle. The bald eagle is usually not hanging around the goat enclosure, but I do see it over here around my neighbor's pond quite a bit. And it's maybe 100 yards max from there to the goat enclosure. And the babies are just small enough, the eagle could still pick one up and fly off with it. So since everyone was twins and they're all a little bit smaller than if they had been born as singles, I'll probably start letting the moms out along with the two adult weathers this week or probably maybe even tomorrow. Let them out by themselves all day because the babies are now eating hay and feed and they're fine there by themselves. So I'm probably gonna leave them in there for at least another week 
just so they can get some size on them. Since we're gonna have a lot of rain today, the main project for today, I've already started it, is to finish cleaning out this goat kidding stall, or the two kidding stalls, I've already taken down the center divider, clean up all the cobwebs and stuff. I'm gonna pull up the rubber mats that are down there, and I have some more of the two inch rolls of crushed foam rubber. I'll show you those mats. Those are what go underneath the stall systems that we have. So I'll put a layer of those down, take the center divider out on the bottom. This will all be rubber matting, and then over the top of it, I'll go in with the, with the longer rubber mats, cover everything up, and probably tape it off to seal it. Because this is where Donkey hangs out if the weather gets bad. He doesn't want to go into his stall, and I'm guessing because it's open, it just doesn't feel quite as secure to him. And as you can see, somebody got a little bit extra food and doesn't want to share. But I've noticed that if I leave these gates open when the weather's bad, he comes in here and hangs out because I'll let him out and the minis out either way because they stay in the barn. And I think this is a good size stall for him. I think he wants to be in here. So I'm going to clean this out, fix it up for him and get him in here probably this afternoon. Come on, buddy. Oh, you want your cookie? Come on. To give the cookie. I know, like a spoiled child. Gotta give him a cookie. And standing there, mouth open, waiting for it. All right, buddy. Get the others out. I guess these very sad faces because I did not give everyone a treat like I did Donkey. Okay, time to get on some stalls. This store's like a walk-up window at a food truck. If they know I'm in there, they're gonna stand here and beg for treats. Donkey, of course, hates the rain, so he's assumed his normal position. And Nugget naturally heads for the wrong gate. Sometimes I just don't know. Let me catch him. Yep. All right. Now I've got him caught. I can bring everybody else inside and I can get out of the ring. Come on, Donk. Donkey's terrified of him, so when he goes running through, Donkey naturally takes off running. Weather's bad, Donkey goes straight in here. So I'm going to leave him in there for a minute. I'll come back and get him in a sec. Well, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. It rained pretty much all morning hard. It had a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning. So I just shut everybody up and gave them some hay. I did want to show you, this is the rubber matting that goes on the bottom of these stalls. I think it's called Stable Comfort is the system, but it's sleeves and it's crushed rubber. And I think they're four feet by three feet, something like that. I forget what they came out to when I measured them as I did the stalls because this was here whenever I got here and it was all just piled in one stall. So I completed the rest of the barn, but you can order it. I don't know if you can order the top piece by itself, but I just used the mats from Tractor Supply, the, the big heavy four by eight mats that you can get and those work just fine. And as long as you keep the stalls cleaned out on a daily basis, you don't have any issue with stuff getting under them. I'm probably not gonna do a one piece in donkey's new stall because i may not want to keep it there i may convert that back into a washroom but right now it's his safe space and i'm going to keep it for him as long as he wants it so that's what we're going to work on as soon as we get a break from all this weather until next time thanks for watching